What's up guys, it's Logan and and today we're going to be teaching you how to throw wiffle ball pitches. Alright guys, you heard it in the intro, today we're going to be doing wiffle ball pitches. So this is a wiffle ball. It has, so these are the original wiffle balls. They have a bunch of, that are a bunch of dots on one and then they have some that are on two sides. But these are the original ones that curve the best in my opinion. So they have a bunch of holes on one side and then it's just blank on the other. Now, before you use them, or I recommend scuffing it up on your driveway. So just going around, scrubbing it around in your driveway before, because then you can get a little bit more curve on the ball, and you can get it where you want. So let's go ahead and get into the first pitch. All right, guys, the first pitch I'm going to be showing you is a slider. I have two different ways to throw a slider, and I'm going to be showing you both of them. So the first way, you're going to have the holes to your right if you're a righty, and the holes to your left if you're a lefty. So as a righty, it's going to look like that. And as a lefty, it's going to look like that. So you're going to have your middle finger resting right by the hole. Do not, don't dig it in the hole, but rest it right by the hole. <coughs> and then have your pointer finger to the left of it or right of it if you're a lefty. So you're going to have it right there. And then I would recommend maybe spinning it. Like don't just kind of hold on to it and sh shot put, like dart it. You kind of want to get a little bit more spin off that. And then the ball's gonna curve to your left if you're a righty and to your right if you're a lefty. Let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. Guys, this is the first way to throw a slider. Right here. Right there, way, and got the inside of the zone. All right guys, here's one more of that first slider that I was talking about. I'm gonna try to throw it and get the outside corner. The first one I threw at the batter and it will go and get the inside corner. Now I'm gonna throw it at the inside corner that's gonna trick him and go out to the outside. Right there, got the outside top corner. That's what you want right there. Let's get to the next pitch. All right. So, as I was telling you, there's two. I, I have two ways of throwing a slider. So here's the second way. So the second way, you're gonna have the same thing. Holster to your right if you're a righty and holster to your left if you're a lefty. But instead of having your middle finger right beside the hole you're gonna have your middle finger digging in the hole just a little bit not like this but digging in the hole just enough to have some grip on it then your pointer finger is going to be right here it's going to do the same thing as the last one it's going to go left if you're a righty and right if you're a lefty so let me get you guys show you guys and this one you want to rip it off this finger as much as you can you want to get as much backspin as possible and that's gonna help you curve it a lot more. Right there, curved in, got the middle zone. All right guys, I'm gonna show you one more of that second slider that I was talking about. Got your finger just enough in, the, in that hole and rip it off. Right there, got the outside of the zone. Let's get to the next pitch, baby. All right guys, the next pitch I'm gonna be showing you is a knuckleball it'll usually drop but it can go all over the place depending on where the wind is where the holes are it doesn't matter so i have a couple ways to throw this but i recommend so you can so i'm not going to throw this way but you can throw it with your fingernails in the hole and then just kind of push it instead of ripping it and then it'll curve back and then spin back and won't do anything just a fastball and it'll go 450 feet but you want to kind of push it and then it'll move kind of like that and it'll drop but the best way i recommend is this way so and another reason why you scuff it up is you can get good grip with the fingernails so you're gonna have your fingers on the top and grip it into one of the scuffs that you made and then your thumb is going to come around and cover one of the holes so i don't have long fingers so i can't get it up here but you can have your thumb right here and then your knuckles will be up here. And you wanna grip it on one of the scuffs that you made and just throw it and kind of push it with your fingers. Don't like shot put it, but don't rip it and then make it go like that. You want to go like this, hold it, and then kind of push it instead of ripping it off your fingers and making backspin. So the goal is to just not put backspin and then it will drop, go everywhere. So this is how you throw it. All right guys, this is the knuckleball that I was telling you about. It can do anything, but usually it drops. Let me adjust the camera real quick so you can see the strike zone. 
There we go. All right, here we go. Look at that. Curved right down and hit the ground, and it looked like it was hitting the strike zone. This is knuckleball. One more time. All right. That was a good drop. And remember, this pitch, I feel like it's almost impossible to throw a strike for, but it gets batters a lot because it's slower and it drops. Kind of like a changeup. We'll get to you on the next pitch. All right. I have three more pitches to sh throw. This is my fourth one, I think. Comment below if I'm wrong, but... This is gonna be my um, slurve ball. It curves the opposite way of the slider. So if you're righty, it's gonna curve to your right. If you're lefty, it curves to your left. So you're gonna grip it just like you did the first slider. Middle finger right by the hole and then pointer finger out to the side. The opposite if you're a lefty. So righty will look like this, lefty look like that. So it's gonna go like this for if I'm, cause I'm a righty. You are going to pretty much throw it like this. So then the holes can be on the other opposite side and it'll go like that. You're probably asking, why don't you just grip the holes to the opposite of the slider? It doesn't work. Trust me, you guys can try it. It never works for me. I can't get it to work. Comment below if you know how to get it work. But I'm going to grip it like this and you're going to pretty much throw it underhand. Let me get it to you guys. Let me pitch it to you. You guys, this is the slurve ball. Just like the slider, pretty much gonna throw it underhand. Pretty much underhand. It's a very hard pitch to throw, trust me. I'm still working on it. Look at that. Curves a little bit. It doesn't curve insane. I'm still working on it. You guys could probably get better than me and it'll go a lot better. All right, here's the slurve ball. One more time. It's a really hard pitch. It took me about a week and a half to get down, so don't get frustrated if you don't get it on your first try. A really good pitch there we go there's a strike so it doesn't curve too much unless you're really good at it but i use it sometimes in the game or when i'm playing with my friends so it's all right hey guys so this is my second to last pitch it's one of the pitches i use if i'm down in the count a lot and i know i need to throw a strike so i would definitely recommend using it a lot so it's my two seam and this pitch is pretty easy to throw a strike on it doesn't have too much movement but it, it moves a little so I'd say it moves a little less than the slurve ball which doesn't move much so you're gonna take your thumb cover one of the holes I don't have long fingers you guys probably do so I can't cover the whole hole the whole entire hole but that's totally fine because it works for me and I don't cover the whole hole so you're gonna take both your thumb on the bottom, covering the hole, and then both your fingers up here. Lefty, the same thing. It's gonna curve the same way as the slurve ball. So it's gonna curve to your right if you're a righty and a left if you're a lefty. I use this pitch a lot. Probably my second most, most used pitch uh, aside the slider. It's probably my most used pitch. So this is the two seam. All right. Here's the two seam fastball. It's gonna curve to your right or left like that sometimes it can even drop kind of like that one that one dropped a little okay guys here's the two seam let's see what it does last time it dropped a little it can kind of go anywhere there we go okay so that moved a lot actually moved a little more than i expected so yeah let's get on to the last pitch all right guys so this is going to be the last pitch Comment below if you want more wiffle ball pitching. Anything for you guys. Thank you for the support. Make sure to subscribe, like, maybe hit the bell if you want to be notified. But this is going to be my last pitch. So it is called the riser. Probably a lot of wiffle ball people, pitchers know it. And they throw it a lot. Probably one of my most used pitches. Maybe my third most used. It's going to go the same as the first slider I showed you guys. So it's going to... You're gonna have your middle finger on the right beside the hole, and then your pointer finger just aside on the blank part of the ball right here. So 
on the lefty, it's gonna look like this. But for a righty, it's gonna look like that. I'm a righty. So you, it's a little bit tricky to throw and you, you wanna get the holes facing down. You, if you don't get the holes facing down, it's not gonna rise at all, trust me. And it's gonna go, it's gonna be a long shot. So you're gonna get the holes on the bottom like this, and then you're gonna get ready, you're gonna go down, and you're gonna release it low with the holes facing down. See the holes are facing down? You're gonna release it, and it's gonna spin like this with the holes down, and then it's gonna push up. So you're gonna release it, you're gonna aim low, cause trust me, if you throw it right, it's gonna rise. So you're gonna aim low, holes down, and it's gonna rise on its own. You don't need to do anything. Guys, here's the riser. Remember, holes down, aim low. Pull straight down. There we go. Rose up to the top of the zone. That's how you wanna throw it. Guys, riser one more time. Remember, holes, holes straight down, aim low. Right there, got the top of the zone. That's gonna be up for today's video. Hope you guys like that. Comment below if you want some more wiffle ball pitching videos. I'll hit you guys up. Anything for you guys. Love the support. Thank you guys so much for the support. Make sure to subscribe, like, and hit that bell if you want to be notified. Hope you all have a great day. Love you guys. Bye for me. Peace.